Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 28th of 2022, well, it is titled Mercury from passing Bepi Colombo. So what do we see here? Well, we see what looks like a part of our moon, but in reality is actually the planet Mercury. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, does look a lot like our moon and have many features in common. It is a little bit bigger, but we do see that it is very heavily cratered. And many of the craters, again, will look just like craters on our moon. The difference is that we don't see the Maria on our Mercury. So great flooded areas, we do not see those in the same way we see them on our moon. Now this is actually uh, taken by the Bepi Colombo spacecraft that is passing by Mercury. Now it's very difficult to get something into Mercury. And that is because of how much it is how close it is it is trying right now it's working on losing energy. So it will pass by Mercury use Mercury's gravity to have it lose energy and eventually able to end up orbiting the planet. So it's going to take a few more passes and a few more years. It's scheduled to actually go into orbit around Mercury in 2025 to be the first spacecraft there since the Messenger spacecraft finished its mission a number of years ago. So Mercury of the uh, planets that were known to the ancients is the least well studied mainly because it's very difficult to see from Earth. So you can't really study it with Earth bound telescopes. It's only visible very close to the sun because of its orbit. So you can see it right before sunrise or right after sunset at certain times of year, but not an easy planet to be able to find. So not very visible from Earth and even from space is very similar. So you really need to get spacecraft to travel there. But trying to get things in close to the sun requires a lot of fuel to be able to do there or a lot of time and work by maneuvering closer to other planets and using that to adjust the trajectory and adjust the energy to the proper amount. So we can eventually merge it up with Mercury's orbit and then finally bring it into orbit around Mercury where it will study Mercury for hopefully a number of years and give us some more information about it. And it wasn't until the messenger spacecraft a decade or so ago that we really began to learn in detail about Mercury with the previous uh, measurement having been back in the 1970s when spacecraft flew by Mercury but only got very limited images of it and now finally in orbit able to really learn a lot more about the closest planet to our sun. So that was our picture of the day for June 28th of 2022. It was titled Mercury from passing Bepi Colombo. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be solar system family portrait. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.